Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jo, and today I wanted to show you something I've been kind of working on on the sidelines while I have been doing the tutorial. So this is my latest vintage journal. Um, it has, let's see, I don't know what I did with my ruler. Oh, there it is. It is nine by little over six, about six and a quarter. In fact, I think it's, yeah, nine and a quarter by six and a quarter. And the spine is three and three quarter inches. And it has this awesome vintage fabric on the front that had this tree ap applique on it that I thought was really pretty. It's embroidered on. And then this side is some vintage green material. And then I made this tassel to go on it. It's got some charms and all these nice little beads. And then this is the back, just some more vintage material that I picked up at a uh, flea market uh, recently. So um, I'm gonna try to stay in frame while I do this, but it opens up like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the journal out. <laughs> okay, journal is out. So it has two folios, and I have already stuffed them with ephemera, a vintage ephemera, some Tim Holtz, some handmade, some different things I've picked up along the way. Um, so it starts out, there's a, a vintage letter in an envelope right here. I'm not going to pull it out, but um, it's just slipped right behind this belly band right up front. And then this flips down. This is a pocket right here. And this flips down and you have, oh, you can barely see that. It's a little lip of a pocket right here. And inside I have a little file folder pocket um that I made a while back and then there is a large belly band here with a smaller belly band here and then this paper clip here let's see this opens up again like this and this paper clip is just kind of holding it together but um this has this is a pocket up here and then a pocket right here if it wants to work for me which you know how they do in my videos and then yes with acetate windows and then it opens up like this and you have a gusseted pocket here and then two pockets here or two like side tucks there and then on this side you have an acetate windowed top loading pocket like this and then it opens up over here and then you have a large pocket here and then a little pocket here and then two envelopes with paper clips right here so these do come out and they are uh, usable envelopes with um, velcro attachments and now there we go i was going to say it's not going to work for me and then it opens up again and then this paper clip here is holding this together uh, just some ephemera here, and this is another acetate windowed pocket that goes completely through with this little flap here that has a pocket here, um, a pocket here, and then this inside here is a pocket, and then it has a little side tuck right here, and then a large belly band here, and then let me put that back together. Do do do. Oh, come on, you thing. Come on. It's one of those days for me today, I think. It's just nothing's really going my way, but that's all right. It's just another day. And then this side over here, you have a side loading pocket with a vellum window, and it flips up. And there's a side loading pocket here, tuck with a, a journaling card in it. And then here, this is a pocket and it flips over. It's a pocket at the top as well. And then there's a little tuck right here. And then this here whoop, is a pocket. And then it has a side tuck here and then a belly band on the back right here. 
And then this is a pocket with some ephemera in it. And then this opens up again this way. And I have a large uh, envelope here that's sealed with Velcro. And then this here is a pocket with some ephemera in it. The top right here is a pocket. And then a belly band on the back. And then these are uh, flip ups. There's a pocket here. And this, of course, is a pocket itself. And then the same with the flip down. There's a little window or a little side tuck and a larger pocket. And then a large envelope with a little tuck right there. And then on this side, you have two pockets here and here. It opens this way. You have a pocket here. And then this is a side, or excuse me, a top loading pocket with an acetate window. And it opens this way with a large pocket here. And then three tags here. These are belly bands. And then a side tuck here with a belly band here. And then on this side, you have paper clip holding it together. You have a pocket here and a pocket in here. And then it opens up with the belly band here. And then there's a little pocket here. And this opens with a little pocket there. And this, of course, is a pocket as well. And then there's a little side tuck right there. And then it opens this way and you have um, this unwinds a few dozen times and this is a pocket right here and it flips open and then there's a little pocket here another pocket here and a bigger pocket back here and then this itself is a pocket and it flips over and then you have two gusseted pockets here and a side tuck and then this is just a large gusseted envelope and then there's a pocket up here in the flap so that is the folios on this one this just needs some manipulating it just needs to hang around that for a while and then it'll stay but it has just been giving me fits so i twisted it around there a bunch so i'm going to move this out of the way and show you the journal the journal is also made with vintage lace and vintage fabric and uh, vintage lace and stuff all throughout here as well. And then it just has your coffee dyed paper, Edith Holden pages, some uh, storybook pages, uh, handmade papers, um, wildflower papers, graph paper, book pages, ledger, all the good things, a paper bag that opens at the top. It is three signatures. Um, it's got lots of room for writing um, and for making your own page layouts. I'm trying to get through it quickly here. Uh, lots of good stuff, interactive envelope. Um, some vellum pages, some piano paper, um, all of the, all of the goods, all of the goods all throughout this journal. So, um, that is it. Um, if you're interested, just shoot me an email and I'll let you know what I'm, uh, looking for. And if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I, I do love reading those. I love hearing your guys' input, things you'd like to see. Um, I appreciate your time today for stopping in with me for a few minutes. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, thanks much, and we'll see you later. Bye.